The treatment of achalasia comes in various forms. It goes from medical treatment, which sometimes involves medications that can help relax the valve, which work in some folks for a short period of time, all the way to surgery that's designed to cut the valve so that it stays open all the time. The medical or non-invasive or minimally invasive treatments involve uh, endoscopic dilation or placement of Botox um, into the valve to relax the valve or using medications to relax the valve. These are effective in some folks and we usually reserve them for patients who either cannot get to medical care right away or surgical care right away or for patients who are not very good surgical candidates and will not tolerate an operation. The gold standard operation for the treatment of achalasia today is a Heller myotomy. This is an operation where this is the esophagus and this is your lower esophageal sphincter or the valve. It is an operation that involves incisions, five small incisions, a laparoscope, which is a camera, and with the use of laparoscopic instruments, we cut the valve to allow the valve to stay open. This also allows us to give people a partial valve after this to prevent bad reflux, which can sometimes happen after the valve is open. This operation has been performed for over 100 years in one way, shape, or form, and is, works very well for patients with uh, achalasia. More recently, patients have had a second option available to them. It's called per oral endoscopic myotomy, or POEM for short. There are many layers of the esophagus. There is the inner layers, which is the, the mucosa and the submucosa, which is here. And this is the inside of the esophagus. Okay. And there are also muscular layers that surround the esophagus in two layers, one and two. While the Heller myotomy involves cutting the, the layers of the muscle from the outside, the POEM allows us to create a tunnel in the space between the inner layers and the muscle layers over here and allows us to cut the muscle from the inside going out. Both of these technologies allows us to open up the valve and create symptom relief for the patient with achalasia. However, this is an operation that's only been performed for the last few years, and while the short-term results are very encouraging and are comparable to Heller myotomy, only time will tell if they are comparable procedures.